Hello everyone. So due to popular demand, this is a pattern paper haul, AKA all the pattern paper I have accumulated over the last, I don't even know how long. So <laughs> let's just get right into it, shall we? So I've got the Lawn Fawn Really Rainbow 6x6 pack. I've actually already used some of these papers because uh, they were in one of the Simon kits. So I didn't even have to like open this, which always makes me happy. But of course one needs to own the full pack regardless. So yeah, six by six, really rainbow, 36 sheets. You get um, three sheets of each pattern, which is one thing I really love about the Lawn Fawn packs. Instead of getting two, you get three. So just fabulousness in pattern paper form. Oh, love. So yeah, really, really fun, super bright colors. It's just amazing to play with. So here's that one. And then the other one they had released was the Perfectly Plaid Spring. They've been doing all these, you know, Perfectly Plaid Fall, which was one of my favorites, which I think they discontinued. I hope that means that they're gonna release an even better one this coming fall because that was definitely one of my favorites. So this is the perfectly plaid spring six by six, same thing, 36 sheets, 12 patterns, three of each. Oh, I always love the multicolored plaid the best. It's always my favorite. The one on an angle with all the colors. I usually want packs of like just that one please. This is really nice too though. So then you've got all these fun colors and patterns so yeah just really really fun love I do have 12 by 12 of the really rainbow <clears throat> I don't get 12 by 12 very often because I find I like six by six are usually scaled down versions and I will actually show that here um of a 12 by 12 so they work better for card making the only reason I get 12 by 12 is either to use as the background when I'm taking pictures of my cards. I use a 12 by 12 a lot. Or I also like it if I'm making little gift bags and boxes and that, like some of the big lawn fawn and mama elephant dies are so big that I can get, you know, one or two or more die cuts off of a 12 by 12 paper so I can make a pattern paper bag. I've done videos showing that. So it's a bit more of a pain. I usually like, a, you know, just try to cut the top off so I can store them, you know, in their bag and I store them flat and just kind of stack them. They're, yeah, they're a pain in the butt to store the big ones, but if a collection really catches my eye, I'm like, ooh. So there's, oh, see, just fabulousness. So there's that and then, so you can see what I mean. Six by six, 12 by 12. So they just scaled down the size of the pattern. That's why I prefer six by six because most companies will scale down the patterns for those and that works just nicer on a card. But these are the exact same as six by six, just bigger, bigger patterns. So it's up to personal preference, but yeah, like how can you not? It's rainbow. So I have this one and then I did get the Doodlebug So Punny Petite Print and same thing. I got this more with the intention of these would be really cute to make little gift bags and whatnot out of and or just use as backgrounds because they're just cute. So yeah, all just fun. Ooh, this hot pink. Oh, fun. So yeah, very simple, you know, polka dots. These ones, because they are just polka dots and you, know, you could easily cut these down for cards. I think Doodle does a six by six pack of this one too. But yeah, like, it's just cute. There's that. Those, I did that. Now to go through. Let's just hop right into it. So I also got, let's start zooming in a bit here. There we go. This is the American Crafts um, Jen Hatfield Patio Party. I really like the American Crafts line. Their pattern papers are really pretty. So nice. These are all single sided. This one is 36 papers, 18 designs. So you get um, two of each. Oh, 
and it's foiled. Or not all of them, but like some of them are foiled. Like that's foiled. That's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Look at that. Simple black and white stripe. This is foiled. Isn't that pretty? Oh. Well, yeah. <laughs> Because, yeah, I show Pattern Reaper a lot. I don't make a lot of cards with it. But the funny thing is, and I've said this before, is I get them. Because even just flipping through them, I get inspiration. I start thinking about, ooh, I've got a stamp set that's similar to that. And I will make a card based on a pattern paper and not use the pattern paper at all. I like the color combos a lot of times, too, will inspire me. Like, looking at this, it's like, ooh, that navy and a couple shades of pink and green. So pretty. I get inspiration just from the pattern paper box. The amount of times, especially if I'm feeling stuck... And I'm just not motivated or I can't really think of ideas I'll flip through my packs of pattern paper and it's like oh I like such and such or like these flowers with a wood grain you know da, 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 da. and then I'll go make a card based on that but I won't actually use the pattern paper in the video Ooh, this one's foiled so that's why I like to hoard pattern paper because it just I find it inspiring more than anything I love how the designers will combine the colors the style Different elements. These ones actually have little praying mantises on them. Oh my god, that's so cute. It's little dragonflies, little praying mantises right there. And then these and the dragonflies are foiled. <sighs> so, yeah, like, love, love. Oh, that's foiled too. Isn't that pretty? And then we get back to the same thing. That is a gorgeous collection. So, yeah, that's the patio party collection, and it's amazing. So amazing. Okay, so these are Echo Park. These are my mind's eye. Let me kind of organize what the heck I'm doing here. My mind's eye. There's more Bull Bunny. Okay, let's do the Bull Bunny first. So we've got, that's my mind's eye, Echo Park. Echo. Okay, Bull Bunny, Black Tie Affair. This one caught my eye. I don't often, like, I like my black and white stripe pattern paper. <laughs> when people started sending me, like, when I kind of went nuts, and wanted the MFT black and white stripes, which of course they delivered. Um, and some people sending me so many links to so many random black and white packs out there. And honestly, I'm not drawn to them. I usually prefer just a simple black and white stripe, but this one caught my eye because I do like Bow Bunny's patterns and whatnot. And it just, this is really pretty. And of course I'm thinking like wedding cards would be really nice with this, but these also could just go with anything, like just use it in the background and then have like really a really bright floral something. So yeah, really, really pretty, very elegant papers. And I like that these aren't straight black and white, you know, they've got shades of gray and different things in them. So they're very, these are very nice, very nice. And we're back, I think, to this one. So, yeah. 36 pages, I think. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 designs. So, yeah, three designs of each, which I really like. I like when companies are doing this more. So, it was that one. And then I have some Echo Park. Echo Park's another one of my favorites. Okay, I've got the Happy Birthday Imagine That. There's Imagine That, like... Mermaids and imagine that puppy dog, like girl theme, boy themed, etc. I've noticed lately Echo Park's been releasing like not just paper, but they've got stencils and stamps and I like really big collections, which I just I'm obsessed with, but I can only keep up with so much. <laughs> So I got just the paper and then I did get some of the stencils because they were in designs and patterns that I have do not have any stencils even close to that. So this is the Happy Birthday Collection. Love. Super, super love. Stars and plaids. Fun little banners. I like how a lot of times they, theirs are double-sided, but I like how they'll have like the main pattern on one side and the other side is either like a solid or just a very simple pattern. So it's nice to kind of get the extra, but it's not like two big patterns or it's like, oh, I don't know which one I'm going to use. So I don't mind double side. I know some people really don't like it, but I don't mind it at all because it gives me more bang for my buck in my opinion. So yeah, little fun confetti. Oh, I like those gifts. Party hats and cupcakes and just, oh, this is just a really, really fun collection. 
So yeah, you get two each and, and they're all double sided. So that one's really fun. So that was that one. And then we have these really fun Imagine That collections. And if I remember when I'm like editing and adding all the links to everything, I'll do links to the whole collection as well. So you can check out what I mean when I said there's so many other products. It's not just pattern paper and stencils. It's all kinds of awesome stuff. So I got the two stencils with this one, this fun clouds and little stars. I just think that's so cute. And then this really cute, I like the small size of this fun little floral. I think a, <laughs> a wallpaper when I see that one, but it's just so cute. So really fun. So there's those stencils. And then we've got the adorableness of the pattern paper. Ugh, love. Unicorns, teapots, and little dolls, and fun plaid, <laughs> cats and narwhals, cats with unicorn horns and narwhals, love it. Love it. Are these not just the cutest things ever? So much fun, so much fun. Oh, that's really pretty. So yeah, oh, isn't that gorgeous? And then there's pattern paper that kind of matches the stencil. So yeah, just adorable. Where's that one? And then the boy one, the stencils. Got these awesome lightning bolts, love. And then this great star one, I love how it stars and the little tiny like dots and stuff. Oh, how fun are those? Those, those. And then the pattern paper. Got some plaid, some dinosaurs. Outer space. Another fun, really brightly colored plaid. Etch a sketch. <laughs> Love. Oh, these are so much fun. Ooh, this one looks like a galaxy. Love that. More pattern. Airplanes. Bikes and skateboards. Little cars again. Oh, that color. Let's see. Using the stencil, sponge your background, use the stencil, like, just get ideas from looking at this paper. I love this one with the dogs. This is the cutest paper ever. Oh, oh this is fun too. Oh, these are just so much fun. So that was that one, love. So I got that one and I got a whole bunch, my mind's eye released a whole bunch of new pattern paper packs. So there's this awesome one, this is Blast Off. My mind's eye is one of the like OG pattern paper collections that I have used over the years, years and years and years. So, Ooh, I like those stripes. And we've got some planets. It's foiled. This one's foiled in a silver, kind of hollow sort of foil. It's hard to really, there we go. You can kind of see it. Got that, constellations, full on foil, oh, that's fun, <laughs> that's cute, that is so cute, I want to decorate a room on this, like I could totally, oh, see, I get so many ideas, so many ideas, I want to decorate a bedroom, like totally in this theme, these sorts of colors. How fun would that be? Love it. Absolutely love it. So yeah. Oh, and these ones are foiled too. I didn't realize that in the beginning. Yeah, the little silver areas, that's all foiled. How fun is that? So that's blast off. There's that one and then there's this awesome, this is the Good Vibes 6x6. Pink foil, fun. Very like teeny bopper sort of a theme, which I really like. I never can seem to have enough. Donuts, sunglasses, cassette tapes. Uh, I get a kick out of the fact like cassette tapes have become sort of a thing, like kind of trendy. And yet my kids, I don't even have one to show them. Anyway. <laughs> uh, so, oh, the donut one, that's fun. And it's all foiled. 
donuts and flowers and little speech explosions. Oh, I really like that too. Just confetti type kisses, moi. I like that. This is just really fun. This one's foiled as well. These are just such neat papers. So yeah, doubles of everything. Love, so that was good vibes. Then this is the Wonder collection. And see, this is one where these have, this one especially kind of caught my eye because I would not normally think to put colors like this together. But then once you see them together, it's just fabulous. Very campy themed, which I know a lot of people will love. <laughs> so cute. I love this cloudy paper. Just oh, adorable. And like I said, I really, really like these colors together. It's just something different. So yeah. Oh, little scene. And this fun map one. And arrows. Just really different. I like it. I like it a lot. It just kind of starts making me think outside the box in terms of colors and pattern and whatnot. So that's the Wander collection. And then there is the Penelope collection. And this one's got some foil. It looks like this one will have gold foil. All right. So, oh yes. Swans, I love that. The pink with the swans already. I just got some ideas. And these fun banners, crowns and stripes. More foil. Ooh, there's glitter in this one. That's fun. That's really fun. Some of these, honestly, like if I was to decorate a baby's room, Hopefully not ever having again, but taking these and just framing them, you know, doing a collage of frames would look so fun. I've been seeing that actually more and more as collections geared towards that. Like, oh, is that not the cutest thing ever? I just love that. So yeah, that's other ideas for some of these collections is something that a person could do. Like that blast off one that I'd said I would love to decorate my boy's room with that. And then yeah, I could totally like frame these. Very easy way to do some decorating. So anywho, this is the Penelope collection. Very, very cute. And then last but certainly not least, this is the Bliss collection. Side pieces removed. So, more foil. Oh, I really like that. I really like this kind of peachy, peachy and pink, and then the shades of green. Just very, very pretty. Kind of a sage green. I like a lot. Very wedding themed, obviously, with this one. Sorry, my camera's going a little nuts. When there's anything foiled, my camera's just like, wow, doesn't know what to do with it. But yeah, really, really pretty. Oh, I love that. That's so gorgeous. So yeah, really, really fun. Put a picture. Nice. Love, love, love. It's so redundant, <laughs> but it's true. Oh, I really like that. Oh, that's really pretty too. Love it. All these gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeousness. So that is the pattern paper haul. I get, I will get asked this, I know I will. So let's zoom out a little bit. Um, how do I store my pattern paper? I store it in these great big inter-design containers. I will link to this one. This one is They're not quite eight inches across. And then it's 12, I think it's like six, almost 16 inches deep, 14 inches deep, 
12, about 14 inches deep. This will hold a ton of pattern paper. Like all the pattern paper I got today is more than gonna fit in here and I'll still have some space. And I can also, like here's a six by six pack, I can also fit some on the sides in one container. So that's generally how I store my patterned paper is in, um, in these containers because it holds just a ton and then this way I can flip through. This is all my, got some Echo Park and some current Doodlebug and then this way I can just flip through when I want inspiration. And then I have these six by six clear envelopes. They are slightly larger than six by six. So this is what I will put when I start cutting into, and actually using, shockingly, but I do, cutting into the pattern papers. I just stick them in these and then that way I can drop the scraps of pattern paper into the envelope and then use it that way. So then that way I don't lose all my random little scraps. I will link to this package as well. I got all this from Simon Says Stamp and I'm pretty sure, yeah, there's a pack of a hundred in here and I still have plenty. So that's how I store it. And then that's how I, and I just keep that stored on the side of the container. And then, yeah, I've got all my pattern paper to flip through and can be inspired or actually use it. And then, like I said, with the 12 by 12, I just kind of pile it up on a shelf. I haven't figured out a great way to store that one yet. So, so that was my pattern paper. And I usually will store a lot of times if the stencils match a certain pattern paper pack, I'll store it with the pattern paper just so that I know that I have them. And that's it. So like I mentioned, I will have links to everything in the description box below the video, as well as on my blog. On my blog, it's all picture links. So you can check that out if you are interested. Thank you all so much for watching and subscribing and thumbs upping and commenting on my videos. I really appreciate it. Like, you guys rock. And I will be back very soon with another video. Bye.